All right, this is going to be a film study look at Denzel Perryman, uh, one of the free agent signings for the Houston Texans, playing inside linebacker for them uh, next to Christian Harris. I think he's going to have an impact. I think he already is in the preseason. I'm going to show some film selected plays. I think I've got 12 plays loaded up. Actually, maybe a little less than that because I'm going to show you two angles, all 22, and end zone from some of them. Number one, guy's very decisive. His speed, it just pops off. I don't I don't know if he's always been this quick and has this much of a burst, but he certainly looks like it in the preseason so far. Generally play in, you know, first three possessions or somewhere in there. Uh, I've tried to find film of potential starters for the Texans because I'm a Ravens fan, and, and this is a guy who sticks out to me in that he's committed, he's decisive, he's got a great burst, he's tackling well, has an interception against Tua and the Miami Dolphins last week in week two of the preseason. And then the thing that I also like, and I'm going to try to explain on, on one play in particular, is he trusts his teammates and he trusts the call and what they're trying to do on defense. So let's get into the film. And we're going to have about four or five plays from each game. This first one is the first possession for the Patriots after the interception of C.J. Stroud in week one of the preseason. And this is going to be a run play. I just I love how downhill he plays this. I'm going to reboot this a couple of times. Look at what he does. I mean, he gets involved in the tackle late. Certainly there's a guy who comes off the combo block and then gets up to him. I think it's the left guard. Gets a piece of him. But I just love how committed he is. And, and I'm going to give you the end zone angle here too. I love how he's playing down. I love downhill linebackers. I do. I just did a film study, the second one that I've done on Jack Campbell, and he's – He's a guy who will scrape side to side and meet the running back where he is. I think Denzel Perryman can do that too, but Denzel Perryman, when he needs to, will hit it downhill 100 miles an hour right now. Let's get the end zone angle of the same play. Again, uh, first possession for the Patriots, first and 10 at the 24-yard line, and he's involved in the play. Um, get a combo coming off with the left guard, and he's able to redirect and get involved in the tackle. Houston is building an interesting defense there, if you ask me. Cool play here. Third and four. This is two plays later, and he's going to get a sack. Watch what he does to the center. and Watch how well-coordinated things are with this Texans team. It's an NFL defense, so of course it should be coordinated well. But when I say that, what I mean is he's going to fake dropping out here intentionally, and this three technique is going to stunt to the inside shoulder of the left guard. So he's going to occupy the left guard. And then at a certain time, Perryman's going to loop around through the B-gap, free rusher, because the left tackle is going to be occupied by this edge rusher here. Great call, great play. It's not the only team that uses it. It's just a an example of them executing it, and Denzel Perryman is a big part of these. I think he's multiple. I think he's playing very multiple versatile, I should say, being asked to do a lot of different things, and he seems to be executing it to me. All 22, same play. Like I said, it's third and four. This is the D-tackle that's going to stunt across the left guard's face. Check him out. Check Perryman out. He's going to step back, make it look like he's dropping out. Blitz through to B. And simultaneous to that, and I didn't mention this from the end zone angle, I think both of these edge rushers are hard-coded to get outside rushes. Occupy the tackles, not let the O-line slide like you know a dominoes, and then let someone be able to work to him. Get up field, make the tackles deal with you, and that open helps open up that B-gap, at least to the left side of the offensive line. I love the fake drop, love the play, and how he's executing it. All right, second possession is a second and one from the 50-yard line. I think that's Perryman right there, playing with Christian Harris. Two-yard run. Now you may say, why are you showing me this play doesn't get involved in it? When I show you the end zone angle, I'm going to try to convince you of something that illustrates his trust. What the Texans are doing from the boundary here is they're taking Will Anderson and they're going to stem him in the B-gap, and he gets credit for the tackle, along with Darryl, D uh, Derek Stingley. Stingley, who's lined up over this X receiver to the boundary, is going to stunt inside as well. So they're filling all the gaps. What it does is it kind of frees up the boundary side inside linebacker. I think he's got um, a gap to the boundary. and Denzel Perryman is not needed on that side. So he's going to do what's called slow play it. He, watch, he just stands still for a moment. I mean, the ball's been handed off. What he can't do is he can't flow over the top and, you know, obviously leave his gap, which to me looks like B gap here, but he can't leave his gap and potentially let this guy cut it back. Why? Why is he anticipating that? Well, he's been taught to because all of the gaps over here are filled. So he's basically being instructed to slow play this. He's an NFL inside linebacker. He clearly has used that concept many times before, but this this guy is doing a lot. So 
Perryman on the right, same play, end zone angle. Uh, and you're going to get Anderson stunting in the B gap, Stingley off the edge, C gap. Really kind of makes things easy for these two inside linebackers because the only gaps you have open is, you know, A gap strong and C gap. I misspoke, I misspoke a moment ago talking about Perryman potentially be responsible for B gap. But check the stunt. You can see that Anderson has filled B, Stingley off the edge. You have a safety that would presumably cover this X receiver. If it was a pass play, it's not. And what do you got? Perryman standing still slow playing it, not taking off, you know, uh, to go make the tackle because they actually don't want him to make the tackle here. They want to stunt Anderson and Stingley off the edge, take the uh, Patriots blockers by surprise, and they did so. I think it ends up being a two-yard game, but this is an illustration, a second illustration, I think, of the Texans' defense being well-coordinated and um, Denzel Perryman being a big part of that. Committed burst and ability to get downhill now and know where to fit. This is a screen on a second and ten. From the plus 48, I think this is like after a penalty. Watch where he fits. He fits between the two offensive linemen. He doesn't fit inside of the first offensive lineman, which is the left tackle. He's not going to fit you know, in here and then get taken down. What I mean by taken down is that tackle or the other lineman you know, block him this way, push him further this way out of the play. He fits between them, committed. Now that's where the ball is going too. But there is a lot of space. You can see, if imagine if Perryman was somewhere in here, inside or outside, I should say, of that left tackle. Huge gap in this area, right? Agreed? Perryman is the guy who initially disrupts this play, gets credit for the tackle. I think it's a brilliant play. He's committed, decisive. When I say decisive, he sees the read, and he takes off, and he does what he's supposed to do. Things playing really well. All 22, same play. Here he is, empty formation. You see him fitting between the two linemen and has the strength and the low center of gravity to, to, to not get just totally decleated and dominated by the pulling lineman. Nice play. Last one, I think, is a third and 15, and he is the backside inside linebacker. Now, I've picked up on a potential um, hand signal that Christian Harris is communicating to Jalen Petrie at least three times so far through two games, but... Look how Perryman is just shot out of a cannon. I mean, he's over here, by the way, if you, if you lost him. He's on the ground right here with the running back. He lined up over here. There's no one to block him, meaning there's no one necessarily assigned to block him. The Patriots aren't doing anything to hold him, keep him out of there. He's just able to run free and clean, get involved in a play. I think Jalen Petre is there as well to make first contact. Like I said, it was a third and 15, so you'll give up an eight-yard screen. All right, against the Dolphins, first play. First possession, I think. Against the Dolphins, I think he had four tackles, one interception, another pass defense. Here he is right here. Kind of your quintessential Dolphins play where they're running switch releases. So Tyree Kill ran out, and the tight end, I think Croft, runs up the seam. Perryman doesn't get held by the mesh between the run, running back and the quarterback. I would love to see him take this one to the house. But they're trying to hold him with this action, the running back cross and face, and it doesn't do anything for Perryman at all. It doesn't draw him. It doesn't pull him up to that side. Stays underneath the route, gets a pick. Like I said, he'd like to have that one back and maybe take that one to the house. First play of the game for the Dolphins. Of course, they did score 21 points in the first half against the Texans. End zone angle, same play. You can see him fitting underneath the tight end, who Tua kind of threw it a little bit to the to the outside more towards the sideline, but in any case, Perryman, unbelievable play against the pass. All right. Second possession, third and eight. This is Perryman, and this time Croft is going to get the completion on him. I think I'll give you the end zone and the all-22 of this one because you'd like to see him uh, play it a little bit tighter. Great throw by Tua uh, on the away side from the defender. There's Perryman there. You can see the way that the Dolphins have isolated him in terms of this route by the number two receiver going a little bit more towards the sideline. Tua throws it away from the contact. Perryman unable to redirect. Croft is a big target, a big guy. Ten-yard catch on a third and eight. This was a 15-play drive. I think this is later in the drive. So I think this is a second and four from the negative 45. 
and he's going to get involved in the tackle here. It's a one-yard game. He's the backside inside linebacker fitting. Doesn't allow the combo to get up to him. When I say combo, I mean these two guys, I think a tight end and tackle are comboing an edge player, and then they're going to try to work up to him. This second puller on the F counter is going to work up to the front side inside linebacker. Perryman doesn't let them get up to him. Able to get in on the tackle. End zone angle, same play. You can see the fit and how the combo really took the guy down, almost washed him down too far. Perryman able to scrape over the top, make the play. Last one. Same possession, I believe. First and 10. Perryman here. Another run play. I think it's going to be a one-yard game. I think the guy's playing at a high level. I don't know exactly you know, what the projection was when they signed him. Smart decision by their front office to go get this guy. Look how he takes this on. He's making sure to take it on with the inside shoulder and not you know, go, go inside of it, wrong arm, and allow the running back to bounce it outside. He seems to be doing a lot of things right to me. I think the Texans have a lot of pieces. Petre, Will Anderson, Christian Harris un had an underrated rookie year last year when, you know, when he finally did get on the field a lot. Derek Stingley, a Ravens fan, should look out. This is a defense that is going to be prepared and is going to be well-coordinated. I think Denzel Perryman is a pretty big part of that. I wanted to shine some light on some of the things I think he's doing very well. Um, I tried to limit it to 10 or 12 plays overall. I think that's the, that's the wheelhouse. That's the prime time for some of these film studies early in the season. It's very difficult to piece them together later in the season because you're trying to harken back or you're trying to refer back to plays from six, eight, ten weeks ago and make it succinct for people to enjoy. So if this one was a little long for the amount of plays, you know, please let me know in the comments section. My apologies if that made it a, a little less professional. But this one was a fun one for me to do because I love, I love coaching inside linebackers. I love talking about them and trying to understand what they do. I think there's three things in here that Denzel Perryman did that illustrates how well coordinated the Texans' defense is and how he's patient when he needs to be patient. He's decisive and bursts and goes right now when he needs to do so. And he's taking better pass drops than people probably give him credit for at certain times. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, if you haven't considered subscribing to the channel, please consider doing so now. And if you think other Texans fans, other football fans in general would enjoy this content, please consider grabbing a link to it, sharing it on social media to help this video film study get more reach.